What's up, you guys? Today, we're going to talk about the cool new features within FL Studio 21's playlist. FL Studio 21's playlist includes all kinds of new crossfading options, chopping options. It's awesome. So without further ado, let's take a deep dive and check it out. Please like and subscribe, and let's get started. So first things first is dropping samples on or cloning a track. We'll highlight it, which does not happen in FL Studio 20. Another new feature is when deleting multiple. We're going to get a warning box here that tells you exactly what you're deleting. That way you have to actually look and confirm. And if we now create time markers, we used to have a punch in, punch out option down here on the bottom. This has been renamed to start recording and stop recording for our punch in, punch out. We also have three new features everybody keeps talking about, and it's worth it. We have this gain option where we can actually change the gain in playlist, which is awesome for kind of matching the size of waveforms uh, and evening out audio better. Turn that up there. And we also have a crossfade option. As you can see, this is creating an automatic crossfade and a fade in or fade out. And the cool thing is this is completely independent. Even though these aren't made unique, the fade ins, outs, and crossfades are going to be unique to each of these separately. You can also see as I drag this, we got this volume difference. Now, if we right click here, we can change this so that it doesn't show the gain preview. So as you will see, if I separate these to make it a little less obvious, when we watch this here, when I check or uncheck that, you'll see this waveform gets bigger or it goes away and gets replaced with the number for the actual gain increase. We can also show fade previews. When I check that, you'll see this gain difference at the beginning is gone. When I turn it back on, you'll see that the preview is there. Now with these separated, if we take a look, if we click show fade editing and we actually turn this off altogether, you'll notice we don't have the fades in the corner, nor do we have our actual decibel changes here. We want to turn that back on. Shift F is actually the shortcut for turning this on and off. We also, if we turn off our show fade and show gain previews, we can click alt to show those. Just by holding Alt, we get a preview. We have Snap Fade Handles, which is going to snap this to grid. And like many things, if we hold Alt, it's going to let us come off of grid. When I let go of Alt, back on grid. Vice versa, if it's not set to a grid, holding Alt will snap it to a grid. So that's how you can alternate through the two. Now, create new clips with manual fades. It says that new audio clips are created with manual fades. <laughs> That's what the FL Studio user manual says. In practice, so far, I haven't noticed a difference or what this does. So if you know, please let us know below. Now, we can add new tracks with this add button, which is pretty cool. You can see I have a new instrument track just by choosing add. It can also add an audio track, which has synced to this with a track in the mixer, just like clicking right, going track mode, audio, and choosing a mixer track, or for the instrument, going track mode and choosing an instrument track. Same thing, but just a nice, quick, easy add button up here at the top. Something else to note, if you'll notice, this section for Massive went right where our playhead was. So pasting, now whenever it's applicable, or adding anything whenever it's applicable, it will be added at the playhead. Just like that. Same thing if we copy something, control C, control B, it's gonna paste it at the playhead. Now, if the playhead is out of view, it will do it, let's put it over here, like FL Studio used to, where it'll paste it just kind of somewhere close. However, when the playhead is in view, it will paste at the playhead. Something else cool when selecting multiple items to bring in to the playlist, if I select these and drag them in, they would usually fall downwards like we're seeing here. However, if we hold shift, it'll actually drop them all in one line going from left to right. Now, this can also be done with a new feature for making multiple selections within the browser. And if you want to see more and an in-depth on what's new in the browser in FL Studio 21, click above because we've got that video. And you can do this 
by clicking an op option, holding shift, clicking, and dragging it over. And again, if we hit shift, when we drag it in, all in one line left to right. Something else very cool we have is if we select all of these, they actually all now support this chop option. So I can chop it into eighth beats, and you'll see it does it for all of them. While in FL Studio 20, it would only do it for one in particular. This is great because we can also now chop, wait for it, automation. So if you have an automation clip that is automating with something specifically, we can now take both of these, chop them, and edit them together. Now, just like we can chop automation up, we can also do something new and cool now, which is we can go ahead and merge automation. And when we do so, it's going to do its best to combine all of the different parts together with a sensitivity option that changes the resolution. So as you see, we have a curve here and that's maxed out. It's a point. Now in our select, we also have a select overlapping clips option, which is working for me in the beta, but is not working for me right now. And in the playlist, you'll see it as a select overlapping notes. And as you can see, it's selected, well, the overlapping notes. And so it's going to select the ones after rather than the ones before. Select overlapping notes because the ones after are technically on top or technically the ones overlapping the ones before. And the last option is how our audio actually adjusts once it's been recorded in the playlist. And it is actually a mixer option. We have adjust position of recorded audio, which used to be called compensate for master latency. And while it's mentionable for the playlist, because it does change how your audio shifts and sits within the playlist after being recorded, that is within a different topic, which is the FL Studio Mixer. If you want to learn more about that, click above. I hope you liked this video and I hope it was helpful. We covered our new fading and gain matching options within the FL Studio playlist, as well as a few different cool features and shortcuts for you to expand your workflow and continue your growth with FL Studio. So if you like this video, please like this video. If you have any comments, please comment. I always appreciate a subscribe. It's Warren with Scale Audio and adios.